everybody, Shaquille Rockman, the Public Programs Coordinator here, and welcome to our second Saturday Family Fun Day. Today we're going to do string art. So at the end of the project, you should have something that looks like this, or my other example, this. Now hopefully you came by ASC and you grabbed one of our take and makes. In your packet, you should have a stencil. You will either have a a star or you'll have a diamond. You'll also have a bundle of yarn. You'll have tacks and you will have this square piece of cardboard. What's not in the, um, the packet are markers or I use oil pastels to decorate mine. Um, you can use crayons, color pencils, whatever, and you'll need a pair of scissors. So, once you have all of your um, supplies laid out, the first thing I would do is I would lay my stencil on my piece of cardboard, but in the middle like this. So like this, wherever you want your diamond or your star to be. And then, I think this one requires 11 tacks. So you need a tack for every dot, but just grab one to start, and all you need to do is you need to poke holes where the dots are. Just use your, your tack and poke holes where the dots are. After that's done, you can remove the stencil and you can sit it to the side. And then, as you can see, close look. You should be able to see your dots. So, all 11 of my dots. And after you've done that, just take your tacks and place them in the dots. All right, after you do that, you grab your bundle of yarn. I'm going to pull me some off. That's probably enough. I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut. And then wherever you wanna start your, um, start stringing your art, that's where you will tie the yarn to. So whatever tack you wanna start with, you'll tie your yarn to that tack. This is where the scissors come in. You just cut that piece off. Make sure it's nice and tight though. You cut that piece off. And then the fun part. You can do this any way you want. You just start by stringing the yarn around. And then you can go down. You can do that down there. So now you have the top part, and then just loop that back up here. If I can get it to stay. All right, there we go. And then you can start filling in your diamond. All right, and then you have your diamond. You can do it for as long as you want. You see I have a lot of yarn left. If you want it to look a little thicker, maybe like this heart right here, you can keep going with it. But it's mine this time is kind of thin like the star. After you've done that, you have to tie it in another knot. I'm just gonna tie it tight like that. And I'm gonna take my scissors. cut again. You can double knot it too. I just didn't double knot mine. These right here, I double knotted it the first time and the second time. This time I didn't just because I'm doing an example. Um, but I would double knot it just to ensure that it stays. But I've had these for a few months now and they still look 
pretty great. You can hang them on your wall if that's what you want to do. Um, just add something to the back to hang it on the wall. Um, or you can just sit it against the wall or on a stand. And it'd be a nice little piece of art. But after you've done with that, you have your uh, blank space. And with that space, you can just be creative. You can um, make diamond shapes around it. You can put polka dots on the back. You can color it all one um, solid color if that's what you want to do. But in the end, after you finish stringing your, um, your text with yarn, you'll just color it whatever color you want, to, want it to be. You can find a more creative way to decorate your background. It's also okay to just leave it solid if that's what you want to do. Um, but if you want to get make it look a little bit, bit more exciting, you can add something to the background. Often we have supplies left over, so you can come and see just in case you missed it on the Friday or Saturday when you were supposed to come and get it. Just to see if we have any left over, we'll be more than happy to give you one. But this is string art. Um, thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the craft. Have a nice day.